This next young man, uh, it's his first time on stage and he's absolutely excited to be here. Mr. Sheer Aviv, everybody, Sheer Aviv. Thank you. How's everyone feeling tonight? Excellent, my, uh, that was a perfect pronunciation of my name. Anyone, any Jews in the audience? Thank you for the support. Any idea what Sheer Aviv means? There are some of my friends here who know this and they are just not saying anything. So, Sheer means song and Aviv is springtime. So it's the song of spring and uh, my mom could attest that that's actually when I was born, but we're not gonna get into that story tonight. I'm actually a Microsoft Excel instructor, which you may not guess just from looking at me, but <laughs> it's something that I do and really, I just need to convey to you the, the vast power of this program. It's, it's, all right, let me ask you this. How many of you took the subway here tonight? That's probably the most support the MTA is gonna get all of me. How many of you, let me ask you this, how many of you have actually had a good idea down to the minute when your train would arrive? The correct response is nothing. There should be crickets in the audience right now. It's only, if only there was a way to use a program that uh, predicted to the nearest minute when your train would arrive. Fortunately, there is, it's called Microsoft. <laughs> We're getting somewhere, there you go. Of course, it goes beyond this, right? I've been actually tracking this for the past two years and I can tell you how many, what percentage late, what percentage early, what percentage on time these trains would arrive. Some of you are like, oh my God, that's amazing. It goes beyond this because there are these Showtime boys. I don't know how many of you are familiar with them. What time is it? Showtime. What time is it? Showtime. They do it twice, which is really annoying. I don't know why they do that. They, uh, they disrupt my work. So I actually have to track when they're on the trains and what stations they're between. So I know what trains to avoid because of the Showtime voice. It's really, it's, it's, a, it's a tough life, but I think it actually works out pretty well. I'm not really sure why I'm still single. It's a bit of a surprise to me. I, uh, I would go on this online dating. How many of you online date? What, uh, what, what site do you guys go on? OkCupid. Okay, OkCupid, okay, that's amazing. We have one thing in common, we're both very cheap. That's fantastic. <laughs> OkCupid okay, is the free site that lets you do something called a boost. And for those of you who don't know, or are too embarrassed to admit it, a boost is when you take your profile and put it in front of three to 4,000 people in the span of 15 minutes. Yeah, that was my response, exactly. When I realized this and I saw how many people would view my profile, how many people would click, how many people would like, how many people would message, I realized immediately I could do some analysis of the click-through rate, the conversion rates, the cost per clicks, the cost per mutual likes. I was getting so aroused by these analytics. I almost forgot why I was in, on the site to begin with, so it's, it's pretty powerful stuff. I think um, this one date I went, I'll, I'll share this story with you, it turned out Started out well enough, you know, she's a lovely girl. She was actually uh, pretty nerdy, and I was, she was like t ticking all the right boxes. Not that I put it on the spreadsheet or anything. <laughs> and she was basically uh, telling me about her closet and how she organizes things by size, by color, by rank. It was just like, oh, that's great. I'm, I'm loving this already. She told me about how she watches Star Trek, and I was like, ding, ding, ding. And then she goes and drops this bomb. She says, I'm a part-time abacus instructor. So some of you know what that means, thank you. For those of you who don't know, this predates Excel by, I don't know, over 4,000 years. It's a wonderful tool, I'm not knocking it by any stretch, but it's like, how could we ever really get along, right? This was a doomed relationship from the start, and I kind of felt it. So, you know, I would even think if we, if we ever got married or anything kind of, uh, we had kids, what would happen? How would we meet in the middle? Would I, we have kids and give them like TI-89s or calculators with uh, solar power things? I don't know. It would be weird. I, I wouldn't know where to go with that. So fortunately, she, um, you know, that didn't go very far and, and she stopped responding to my text messages. Which again, it wouldn't have worked anyway, so that's totally cool. Um, so there's this one guy who uh, recently, maybe you've heard the story, he, he put a lot of women in a spreadsheet that he was dating online. And uh, some of you are like, ooh. That's not cool. 
he got a lot of flack. People were very upset at him, and they were like, dude, you can't do that, that's not cool. And I was like, yeah, for shame, right? I looked at his spreadsheet, I was like, really, this guy? I mean, there was no, no regard for any data validation, any password protection, any uh, cross-referencing of cells. It was embarrassing, right? I was just like, you should be ashamed of yourself. Very bad. So if any of you uh, enjoyed this uh, tonight and you laughed, I'd say, well, greater than three times, uh, definitely come <laughs> chat with me after the show. I'd love to nerd out with you. And, uh, you know, there's like a 42% chance that we'll exchange numbers, we'll get to know each other. There's maybe a 22.5% chance that we'll actually see each other again. And unfortunately, it really only does take one great connection for the lifetime value of any relationship to exceed the uh, cost of relationship acquisition. <laughs> And some of you marketers in the audience got that. And I'll leave you with this, these final words of wisdom, right? So, you know, Excel really is a superpower. So, you've probably all heard this expression, right? With great power, you know this already. With great power comes great statistical significance, exactly. Thank you very much, you guys have been great.